Good morning. It's Wednesday and I wanted to continue the conversation all around Fapiao's. We've been talking a little bit about Fapiao accounting and what that means against cash accounting and accrual accounting. And I wanted to come in today and talk a little bit about um, Fapiao's themselves. What are they? And I think a lot of people don't know potentially what they are. So when you're doing business in China, when you're selling something in domestic China, you need to produce a fa piao, which is the official invoice that is then booked into your accounting system. The fa piaos are a rectangle piece of paper that are purchased from the tax bureaus you have a VAT software system that calculates the VAT liability and a printer that then prints out the data onto those FAPIAOs, which are then distributed to your customers. So as a company in China, if you are trading, you will receive FAPIAOs from your suppliers. And if you are selling products, you will be issuing um, FAPIAOs to your customers. Um, even when you're in the service sector, you are going to be issuing fa piaos to your customers. So whether you're trading, whether you are in service, whatever industry you are in, you are going to be revolved around fa piaos. Um, there's a lot of uh, uh, sentiment around fa piaos that they're a bit of a pain. It's difficult to understand exactly how it works. Just very briefly, when you start up your business, um, you need to decide whether you're going to be a small scale taxpayer or general VAT taxpayer, which I touched on on another video. Um, you will then, depending on your status, have a type of FAPIAO that is allocated to you. You then purchase a FAPIAO booklet and each FAPIAO has a worth and the worth initially will be up to 10,000 RMB per FAPIAO piece. And if you've got, I don't know, a transaction of 45,000 RMB, you're going to be issuing four sheets of fa piaos um, to match then the idea that each sheet is worth 10,000. So you need three sheets of 30,000 and one sheet, which will say 5,000. All right. And then these are given to the customers and booked into their, into their system. Uh, when you run out of your fa piaos, out of the sheets in your booklet, you go to the tax bureau and you order more. Um, as you are transacting uh, frequently and consecutively, month to month, you have the ability as your revenue increases to purchase a higher value uh, FAPIA booklet where there's a higher value per sheet, okay? And it can go up to 100,000 RMB. If you've got much, 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 much larger transactions, then you could even go to the tax bureau and make an application to issue a FAPIA in the amount that you need um, based on the transaction that is being performed, but you need all of the supporting documentation around that. As I mentioned, the whole FAPIAO concept is very difficult to get your head around because in the Western world, we produce debit notes, we uh, issue them in Excel and Word. There's nothing official per se that needs to be issued, whereas in China, you do have these official FAPIAOs. Um, I'm going to leave it there because I, I could ramble on for 90 minutes just on fa piaos. But if you do have any questions on what fa piaos means, if you are having difficulty to understand the concept around it, or if you want more explanation on how it should be implemented, especially from an operational perspective, because you have to know where you're going to keep these fa piaos, who's going to handle them, who's going to be in charge of them, who's going to issue and print them, um, where is everything going to be kept? Because you have to consider that these FAPIAO booklets and these FAPIAO sheets are like gold. There is a black market in China around the whole FAPIAO system. Now we are moving into a world of e-FAPIAOs. Has not been fully implemented everywhere in China. There are pilot schemes that are being run through restaurants and other areas. Um, and it's being synced together with um, certain apps like the WeChat app. Uh, where you can get your EFAP house. Again, it's not fully implemented in the business sense of trading service and whatnot. It's pilot schemes are being, but I could imagine eventually we're, we will get into this world of EFAP house as well. So if you've got any questions around FAP house, how to operationally, operationally maintain your FAP house, 
or any ideas or questions around EFA Piaos, then place them in the comments section or contact me directly and I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Take care and goodbye.